Before we get started, I want to let you know that this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is one of the leading brands in men's grooming and I, James Manscaped, ought to know. I'm just kidding. My name is James Mansfield, but you might as well call me James Manscaped at this point. They have fabulous items like the Lawnmower 4.0, the sleek, sleek, sexy, sexy, sexy new, design new design of the Lawnmower device. Yes, this will plow through your garden better than anything out there on the market, okay? I stand by the Lawnmower 4.0. Not only is it a great groin razor, it also has a travel lock system and an LED light so you can see where you're shaving. And it's waterproof. What more do you want? Oh my God. The worst thing is when you're traveling and this thing goes off in your suitcase, you don't have to worry about your groin razor sawing through your wigs. No siree, Bob. This has a lock. That's right, locked tight. It will not open up unless you tell it to. And I come to you with a special deal. That's right, if you use the code JAMESM, you get 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping. That's right, free shipping, 20% off, by using my name, James with a Y. What a deal, oh my gosh. You're gonna look so pretty down there. Get Manscaped today. Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys. So today we are doing a subscriber submitted wig. Yes. I checked my P.O. box and this big old package was inside of it. All right. Give me a second. Let me get it. Make sure I don't have the postage on there. Oh yeah, okay, it's, it's a good one. Okay, good, good, good. All right, here's the letter. It says, Hi, James. Very friendly. I am a huge fan. I love your videos. And after a closet cleaning, figured I could help contribute. These are a bunch of wigs bought from China's version of Amazon called Taibo. Like the exercise? Like, you know, high kick, high kick, chop, Taibo. Probably not. Anyways, via a shopping service, since it's hard to buy direct unless you know Chinese. Oh, but the Priscilla wig is from Japan. Anyway, hope you have fun with them or not. I'm just glad to have some storage space back. <laughs> Thanks. Love ya, Momo. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Momo. My God. All right, let's see what we got in here. It's, come, it's from Taibo. I've never heard of this. But then again, I'm, I'm not using a Chinese version of, you know, Amazon. So it makes sense. All right, so we have a, a brown wig. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, bag's all ripped. Here we go. She is a bang cosplay wig. We also have a banged cosplay wig, as well as a banged cosplay wig. I'm seeing a theme here. Button black this time. Which one is this? Let's see what's going on here. What are you? Where are you supposed to be? Another bang cosplay wig. Momo, I think you need to get out more. <laughs> it's a good thing you sent them to me. All right, you know, I'm always at a shortage for dark hair, so I'm fine with this. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? A bang cosplay wig, but this one's sort of like a Selena style. Look at those bangs, like, I... And what is this last? Well, this is kind of fancy. Honey Wave Bob Priscilla. Oh, this is the one from Japan. Okay, and look at that girl on the back. Look at this. She's having a blast putting this wig cap on. Okay, so it is a honey golden root with... Lavender? Or did you say that's lavender? Or something similar to it? Something lilacish, purple, violets? Anyways, there's a color story happening here. Now, I have quite a few doubles, so that gets me excited. It means we could do a double stack today or something. Either way, I'm going to try a couple of these on and I'll be <laughs> right back. Oh my God, I'm back. Look at the difference in the frame. My God, I have a big head. This thing is so small. I hate this. Okay, yeah, I, these are my least favorite kind of wigs. These ones with like the bangs, like a little swoop bang that they usually have on like the mannequins inside of like Forever 21. It's very much giving me that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I can see why you were so quick to give them away. I look like Daria in this wig. Anyways, I'm gonna try a different one on. I feel like it's gonna be a different shade of the same style. Be right back. All right, I'm back. What are these bangs? Oh my gosh. I look like Dawn French if she like cut her bangs at home. My God. <laughs> Why is my 
one longer than the other in the front. Is it, maybe I have it side, let me, let's see, is it sideways? No, that's just how the bangs are. Okay, well, I have quite a few choices to make when it comes to which wigs we're gonna style today. So I'll be right back and we'll style some wigs from Tybo. <laughs> BRB. All right, I am back. I have the hair all pinned onto the head now. I'm not looking forward to this wig. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm looking at it just like, oh boy, because all of them were really small for my head and they kind of gave me a migraine. So I'm not excited to try them on, but you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes wigs be like that sometimes. So uh, this hair clearly needs a haircut because even as I was brushing it out, it was tangling up really badly. So I'm gonna do myself a favor and just cut some of the devil out of it right away. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other matching brown one because I'm gonna do a double stack and I'll layer the other one, but this one I'm just gonna cut a little shorter. But like I said, she was tangling. And I've come to find out with like working with a lot of brown synthetic fibers, like it kind of is my experience that they seem to tangle up a lot. A lot of them just aren't the best quality. Like no matter what you do, like maybe it's a, something to do with the dyes or whatnot, but I don't know. But I seldomly ever come across a good brunette wig, especially like these brown colors. And it's a shame because it's a really popular shade of hair. People really ask for it a lot. And like, I don't really deal a lot in it because I have yet to find one that I truly am in love with. And cut a few layers at the top. Cause like I said, it's too long up top of these cosplay wigs. Girl, it's gonna be a problem. Do yourself a favor and just layer it up. And also I'm like, I'm wondering like, mama, what kind of manic pixie dream girl like phase were you going through where you had all these Zoe Deschanel wigs? <laughs> were you really big in the new girl? Never got into it, there was too much singing. I'm all for quirkiness and fun rom-coms, but the second singing gets involved, I, I tune out, I'm sorry. It's just not for me. It's like that lyric from the Kelly song where it's like, I've been to heaven, but after five minutes, I was like, let's go. I think we have a style. Now the bangs are still terrible, but I'm not mad at the length now. So let's see what we can do with this. All right. I wanted to go something more 90s because everything I've done so far, I'm gonna lower it now. Everything I've done so far has been very, very 80s or 60s. So we're gonna try and bring us a little bit into like a newer era. I kind of wanted to play around with doing like a scene kid hairstyle, but these are not the right wigs for that. But if you guys are interested in doing that, let me know. I'll definitely give it a shot or like emo hair. Just as I love playing around with eras and especially eras I didn't really hang a lot, hang out a lot in. I had friends that were scene kids, but I was never a scene kid really myself. I didn't have that kind of dedication to hair or at least doing my own hair. You burn your hair once with a flat iron and that's that. That was all she wrote as far as that went. <laughs> that and who wants to spend that much time in a mall? All right, we're just gonna tease her out and as I'm teasing it, like, ugh. It's that cosplay hair where like, the second you run a brush through it, it tangles. So teasing this is going to be a chore. I'll remember it. It's always funny, like these wigs are always the ones that give me the most problems. Like. I could do cheap costume hair from like the costume store and like the brush just goes right through it and glides through it. I mean, there's not enough hair in them, but like, you know, the brushes and the tease out is never really a big issue. But this, you gotta find yourself doing like three or four times teasing the same section to get something workable. Okay, well, I'm gonna tease this baby off camera because I've already walked you through my, my struggles right now. I don't want to be the one to keep bringing you down. So I'll be right back when it's all teased out and I probably have a mango monster and I've, you know, I'm in a better mood. Be right back. <laughs> all right, I am back. Okay, now we've gotten to like, I thought it was gonna be like a Kelly LeBrock kind of territory, but we've turned into like crazy Ophelia really quickly. We've got to like a Helena Bottom Carter kind of phase in the hair, but that's fine. It's fine, we can work with it. Now this hair was a challenge. I will say your best friends in this after the teasing comb is gonna be this and also this guy. I took a page out of Wigs by Vanity's book and used some like teasing powder. I'll demo for you folks. A little bit of, don't breathe it in too much, girl. Whew, gonna get the clown lung or something cause it's just like, Ugh! but it definitely helps to tease it down. It gave me the traction I needed to take the slipperiness out of the hair. Yeah, got to be glue, volume maniac. Volumaniac, yeah, it's teasing powder. It's basically what it is, botifying spray powder. It's teasing powder. Any teasing powder should do this, just what I have, because that's what Gotham Blue sent me a while back in a PR package. So it's just laying around. 
got some use out of it. So yeah, that worked. Oh boy, these bangs are killing me. <laughs> look how bad they look. <laughs> okay, so while I was off camera, I did tease another wig. It's not quite the same texture, but thankfully with like, you know, hairstyles, you can mix. We can mix colors, okay? As you see from that Bob the Drag Queen wig, it doesn't necessarily have to match, it just has to look good. And that's gonna help solve the bang problem a little bit, as long as I try and match that as much as I can. So that adds more density to the bangs. So it's like really, really thin, gross, like Courtney Cox and Scream bangs. I love how that's become like the standard of terrible bangs. And she's fully aware of it, like whatever. <laughs> oh. David Arquette set her up. Thought she'd be serving a Betty Page kind of look and that was not the case. Betty Blank Page. All right, now I'm gonna zip tie this bad boy because we need to double stack this. And the method I used in teasing was, I just teased the living bejesus out of this. Like packed it down as much as I could with the pick so that I wouldn't have to stick anything in there so you have that crinkly sound, you know? But we're gonna be trying to go for like a Kelly LeBrock and weird science kind of look, you know? I know it's still kind of 80s, but it's like 1988 or 1987, okay, late 80s, all right? It's practically the 90s. For those of you who are around the 90s, you can attest to the fact that the styles and fashions of the 80s didn't quite go out until like 94, all right? So it's fine. It carries over. Carry the one, the math still checks out, don't fight me. Don't you dare at me in that comment section. All right, here we go. I'm just feeling 80s right now, I'm sorry. I am zip tying her together. If you wanna see how I zip tie in depth, be sure and check out this video right here. It should pop up in a card or something. All right? All right, as always, you already know this, zip tying is a pain in the butt to do, so I'm just gonna do a quick cut and I'll be right back. Like a, whew, I'm back. All right, I am back. Oh boy. What have I done here? All right, so it is double stacked and it's ugly right now. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not happy with it. Oh, Jesus, even Cher is upset. Look at that. Cher has fully given up. Cher, get back here. Snap out of it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. She almost knocked my drink over. Now, I hate these bangs. I'll go right out and say it right now. I don't like these bangs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ignore them and act like they never happened. I'm gonna tease the crap out of them right now that so blends in with the rest of the, oh God, with the rest of the wig. And we're just gonna create our own little moment here. Okay. Just rat, ratty pack pack down. I just constantly have to reinvent the wheel on this channel. All right, there we go. I'm gonna pull some hair from this. Ooh, ooh, I kinda like that. Okay, we're getting back to the Kelly LeBrock section that I wanted, all right. It's gonna take a little bit of work but I feel like it could work. It's like kind of shaggy, like a short little shag. We're gonna go for like a Kelly LeBrock, Jennifer Beals, Jennifer Grey, all the Jennifers, all right? All the Jennifers that had really questionable hair in the 80s. That's what we're going for right now. Oh, Jennifer Grey, oh my God. From Dirty Dancing, before she got her nose job. Oh. I don't know if that was like the cause of her career to go into decline, but that was always the rumor that she didn't work as much after she got the nose fixed because it was so unique. And I agree. I mean, she has a very unique look. She didn't really need it. But, you know, get what you want if it makes you feel better. But that was just a my opinion. I thought she looked beautiful before. Yeah, this got me thinking of Kelly LeBrock on our break. And I was thinking to myself, like, is Kelly LeBrock doing okay? Is she all right? Has anyone checked it on her? Does she like gay people? I need to know these things before I start to investigate and you know, invest myself and everything, you know? Those are the things I really care about. If she likes me, I like her. We're getting somewhere. Hopefully, she'll be a smooth transition to, sh you know, shaggy bangs. It's sort of giving you like sexy bedhead or like bedhead with style. That's what we want. All right, now I'm gonna try and pick through the ends of it to get the little entrails and not pull up any teasing because the teasing is what's gonna make the whole hairstyle. And this is one of those things where you're gonna constantly have to redo it because when you brush it, the teasing comes out and the hair becomes an inconsistent length. So, you know, enjoy the hairstyle when you first have it and then, you know, understand that you've taken on like a ficus plant, you know, you're gonna have to constantly have upkeep with this thing. It's looking a little bit like um, Danny's hair in the cartoon of Grease when he first gets out of bed and he's like the big old like wild thing. And then they like, in the Grease, he looks normal. Yes. Like I said, Kelly LeBrock 
in weird signs is what we're going for right now. You know, a nice shaggy brunette kind of moment without, you know, the weird plot of weird science, you know, bringing us down. That's, it didn't age well, but she looked fierce. Or um, Jennifer Grey in Flashdance, very that too. Also a plot that hasn't aged very well by today's standards. Although, who is it, Michael Norrie that was the love interest in that? He's so cute, Prince Humperdinck. Those 80s names, like Chris, no, Chris Sarandon was Prince Humperdinck. Michael Norrie was in, I forget what he was in, but he was cute. Those brunette actors in the 80s, they all kind of blend together in my mind. The windmills of my mind. Gosh, what a time to be alive. Where you could look like you rolled right out of bed and everyone thought you were the chicest thing around. Or at least anyone that watched like MTV. The stuffy yuppie types probably didn't really like them that much. But you know what? Who cares? They're the ones that grow up to be boring anyway. Okay. Oh my god, you always realize where she's kind of headed. Again, similar hairstyle. If you've ever seen Sleepaway Camp 3 with Pamela Springsteen, it kind of looks like the wig she was wearing in that. <laughs> Cher has had it! You're not good. I'm not picking you up. You live on the floor now. All right, that's what she gets. I took her out of the bathroom and she just is not handling it. She's going for a trial run for this video and she's failed every test. Well, I just gotta clean up this front area and spray it a bit. And I think she's just about done. You may not see it yet, but wait till it's on the head. That's kind of how wigs work, okay? Yeah, just trim some strays here and there and I'll be back with the final <laughs> result. Welcome back, this is the final result. I know, can you believe it? It's a wig. <laughs> I had to say, I feel like I turned this out. Like I got to a Kelly LeBrock kind of like area of what I wanted. Don't hate her because she's beautiful. It is a nice like low cut shag with lots of volume. So good drag hair. I love shaggy wigs and drag. It's such a weird look. Like a lot of queens have been wearing these wigs a few years ago and like <laughs> it drives me nuts. It's so weird looking, but still kind of like glamorous and like an old 70s kind of way. I don't know. It's definitely a, a look in itself. If this was blonde. This will be the drag version of what Miley Cyrus has right now. That's kind of true. She does have a shag now. I forgot she's not doing the mullets anymore. Rih Rihanna has a mullet now, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that this hairstyles are coming back, honestly, because there's some of the hairstyles I do the best because it's all teasing and imagination, <laughs> honestly. Honestly, the minds were wandering when they were doing hair in the 80s, I swear. <laughs> How cool came up with this shag? Anyways, this wig is fun and fabulous, but I'd like to take a moment, a Ven moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank. I got quite a few, so y'all better buckle up. I would like to thank Luis, Maggie, Jessica, Patrick, Kari, Brittany, James, and Kenne. We look forward to your videos every week. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh my gosh. Sean, Ian, Jared, Sebastian, Kathleen, Shelby, <laughs> Jimmy, and Sergio. Oh, and there's more. Good Lord, I got a lot of them this time around. Kara, Florence, Raul. And for cash apps, I would like to thank Saskia, Marlo, and Logan. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the cash apps. I also say a big thank you to Momo for sending me this wig. This was fun and fabulous. I actually ended up doing something with it that I didn't think I would, honestly. Like, it's really cute. And it put me, it gave me the challenge of like taking on those anime cosplay wigs, like the really, really low grade ones, and muscling through it and showing that you can get something cute out of it despite the fact that you really have to fight it to tease it. But if you can do that, you can do anything, honestly. Like, you love these wigs because it just shows that anything is possible. Oh my God, it sounds so corny. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and see me style Bob the Drag Queen's iconic ugly wig. Or see me style a wig for Alexis Mateo. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, you'll end up in the squid game. <laughs>